Uh, welcome, viewer. We have the privilege of having on set uh, students from uh, Kenya, the Merum National Polytechnic. And uh, we are talking about technology during the 6th National uh, Science Week. And I'm privileged to have on set. Uh, please introduce yourself and uh, address the camera. I'm Martin Doita. I'm a lecturer at the Inf uh, Merum National Polytechnic in informatics or ICT and informatics department. Thank you very much, our friend. Yeah, my name is Galabuz Jonipo, a new lecturer in the electrical and electronic department. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I have noticed that something is happening with the robotics and uh, I, I'm, I'm intimidated and I'm excited. I, I mean, I didn't expect to see a robot which is doing 99.9%. Uh, what, what is this all about? What exactly does it take for you to come up with that kind of a, a, a winning entry? Mm -hmm. The first thing is teamwork. Mm -hmm. We should work uh, as a team. Robotic uh, involves three sections, mm -hmm. ICT, mm -hmm. electrical and electronics, mm -hmm. and also mechanical engineering departments. Mm -hmm. uh, we should work as a team in the three departments, mm -hmm. both uh, the lecturers and the students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the, the key point. That's the key point. Yeah. Um, I know your friend, what do you have to say? Yeah. Basically, it's all about the teamwork and commitment. Mm -hmm. Because I might say that designing a robot is quite challenging mm -hmm. and it takes you many days to go to work on mm -hmm. and you need to be committed in case of anything you don't have to give up mm -hmm. just keep on press on mm -hmm. it takes a lot of patience and I tell you at the end of it you get the best result as you had mm -hmm. planned before how long did it take you for you to come up with this one this particular thing this entry that you have made uh, the so-called layer, and I wonder why you are calling it layer in the first place. Yeah, we are calling it layer because basically this is a voting robot, so it is just a normal layer that is going to vote. To vote. Uh, it has taken us a whole one month to make a robot, day and night, from starting from the mechanical design, going to the electrical, make, connecting the sensors, wires, programming it and every time, making so many trials, tests, from day, to day and night, uh, our whole maximum, it can, as I must say, it has taken us almost four weeks. Mm -hmm. yeah, so in, wow. a, in other words, we didn't go for the holiday, both mm -hmm. the lecturers and the students, mm -hmm. and others went for the April holiday. Mm -hmm. You are left behind. Working on it. Working on the robot right here. Mm -hmm. So you say that the robotics is made up of uh, programming, or the ICT bit, yes. the electronics, and the other part was? Mechanical. 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 Uh, which is the most challenging of the three? Which is the real, the, the real hard part? That if you don't get the right to miss it on the computer. Okay. okay. Mm, not really. If you miss in any, mm -hmm. uh, you mess up the whole robot. Yes. Because you may be having good electronics, mm -hmm. good programming, mm -hmm. but with poor mechanical part, mm -hmm. the robot cannot move. Mm -hmm. Maybe having good mechanical work, mm -hmm. wrong programming, mm -hmm. the program is, uh, the, the robot is done. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the major challenge even with other teams mm. is merging uh, the, the three oh. and uh, being able to, to get synergy out of, out of the three. Mm -hmm. uh, you find some robots are very, have very good me mechanical design, mm -hmm. but uh, they're unable to program them. Mm -hmm. Others, they complicate the, the design or the mechanical design, mm -hmm. such that it becomes complex to, to program. To mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and such things. So, any, any of the section is equally important. Mm -hmm. um, is this the first time you're entering the National Robotics Contest? No, basically for me, mm -hmm. this is, in fact, the, the sixth year. The sixth year? Yeah, my first time was in 2011. That's mm -hmm. when I got an introduction to mm -hmm. robotics. Mm -hmm. And from there onward, there is no year which we have missed in the robotics. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, we have grown with the robotics over years. Mm -hmm. Since it started back, in, it started back in 2010, mm -hmm. and over years we have been participating in the robotics, mm -hmm. and we are very proud because we have grown with it mm -hmm. over the years. So, what would you say in the way that you are entering this time that year is performing in comparison to the other years? Do you have a, a, a same exceptionally good performance, or you had sometimes you had challenges uh, in the past up to now? Okay, yeah. From since we we I joined from in 2011. Mm -hmm. I must say we have won this competition. This is the 
we won it back in 20, 2015. 2015. 2015, we were number one. Mm -hmm. 2012, we were number two. Mm -hmm. So we have been quite consistent in this robotics. And this year, hopefully, we want to also win mm -hmm. once again, mm -hmm. just like the way we won in the nationals at the cut in which were in Nakuru. But it has been a great improvement because every year we are learning new stuffs. We are not doing the same mistakes that we experienced previously. Mm -hmm. So from the mistakes that we discovered in the previous years, we have been improving on them. I would like to hear the impact and the benefit of this exercise. When, you are, when your students go through it and then they graduate from the course, they go out, where do they make use of that know-how that they gain in this kind of a contest? Because I'm sure it is intensive, they learn a lot. Where do they go and apply it outside? Uh, in the, if you go to the industries today, mm. everything is uh, automation. Yes. And uh, this part of automation. Mm. Though they may not get uh, this or exactly the same mm. thing, mm. The, the, the kind of machines that they get, they'll have at least a clue of whatever is happening behind, yes. about the sensors, mm -hmm. about the, how they have been programmed, mm -hmm. uh, to, to or that is in automation in the industry. Mm -hmm. So one, they, they're not uh, completely green mm -hmm. when they get to the, to the industry, right, when they're coming uh, from the college. Uh, do you have some examples you give in industries in Kenya whereby the, those skills are actually directly required? or being applied as regardless of a low level of technological establishment. Okay. Yes, in fact, if you go to most of the manufacturing industries, mm -hmm. like if you go to Coca-Cola mm -hmm. or even some uh, bread making industries, mm -hmm. you find that maybe they have things like automatic packing, mm -hmm. uh, even machines that can count the number of products that have been produced. Mm -hmm. There's nobody who is there to count. Maybe in a day we have produced like Mm -hmm. 1,000 bottles of soda, mm -hmm. there's normally a machine with the sensors that will count mm -hmm. that these are, these are produced in a day. Mm -hmm. Even things like parking, loading to the store, mm -hmm. and some places where you have to do with the chemicals, mm -hmm. which are a bit harmful, mm -hmm. you don't want a person to go into that place mm -hmm. to get injured. Mm -hmm. In this way, such industries require that a person, you use automation mm -hmm. to deal with such uh, harmful chemicals. And is it possible for somebody who has gone through this benefit and has the benefit of participating in exercise like this one and mastering to do robotics, is it possible for him to create some small industry for himself or maybe even become self-sustaining, maybe like becoming a professional in that area? Or is it too early in the day to talk about that? It's not too early mm -hmm. uh, to start with because that's where uh, uh, we're having a technological growth mm -hmm. uh, within our country. Mm -hmm. So it's very poor, yeah, it's not, we cannot say it's a, a misplace of, uh, of resource mm -hmm. because that's where we are going to and uh, most of the industry in the country have arrived to uh, at automation. Yes. Um, for self it is it is also possible mm -hmm. to start uh, projects, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to uh, things to do with innovation uh, and so on. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we require is uh, more funding. Mm -hmm. In terms of uh, because uh, acquiring those funding for what and funding from where from the government, mm -hmm. for example, if I want to uh, if I have a project uh, mm -hmm. in a robotic coming up with it, I don't require I require around a million. A million, yes, mm -hmm. for, and that's the, for an individual youth to get those million and start making uh, a million and start making something good mm -hmm. out of, of it, mm -hmm. it's a bit costly. Uh, it's now we're able to do it because they are, we are being supported by the school. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but for individual, uh, but with the with the with the funding, with the right funding uh, from the ministry, mm -hmm. I believe uh, it's it's very possible. I, I'm not an engineer, but I think from my reading, I understand there are two levels of robotics. There's one which are coming out for entertainment, there's more small toys. Yes. That's what is that area. That's an industry in itself. Yeah. Then you have the heavy industry of robotics. Why can't we? If we cannot do the heavy industry, why can't we do the small one for entertainment sake? Or rather, what would it take for us to start producing from the two ends, either from the small size, entertaining, for the sake of uh, uh, bringing around with the kids and exposing them to technology, if we cannot do the, the big one? Okay, the ones that we are making for entertainment, mm -hmm. their main sky is to allow curiosity in the learners and also young people who wants to be engineers. Mm -hmm. Because you find that from these small robots, the ones you are calling for entertainment, that's where now they can be built at large scale. Yes. 
so that now they become autonomous machines that maybe can be used at the port to do offloading from the ships to the warehouses and to containers. So for the ones here, which we are doing as entertainment, it's just a, a demonstration, a demonstration of what we are capable of doing in the actual industries. So that now we can, these machines, we can produce them to be very big. But now you can see that if these learners, they, are, they use, they test these small products. What, what will it take for us to do them in a big scale? So that you walk around, it's like you go to the shop, you find out a small toy and the people are consuming Because I'm not seeing them. Mm. And it means you guys have the capacity to come up with them. We have What's like stopping us? We have the capacity. One thing is about the, those small, small electron, electronics. Mm. Uh, sometimes if we go to buy them and, uh, uh, and come up with a product, yes. If I come, I start selling that product to you. I may not even get half of the money uh, I got. Mm -hmm. I, I used to. I used to buy those small, small electronics. Mm -hmm. But I believe if you do, or the importation is done in bulk mm -hmm. of the of those, uh, because they are not uh, made locally. Mm -hmm. They they are done in bulk, mm -hmm. and the production is done in bulk, mm -hmm. and that's due to the support of the government. Mm -hmm. uh, it is possible. Have. The government does not have a lot of money. The government is having other problems of feeding mm -hmm. starving Kenyans. <laughs> uh, why are you not selling the idea to the industry? Who may have see a profit motive? Why, why, is it, why are you not talking to the industry? Or where can the industry come in to see the business case and give you the money? Because they're going to make more money out of it. In fact, uh, uh, these robotics, in fact, uh, they have been here in Kenya since 2010. Mm -hmm. But now you find that mostly the government is not that much involved. Like, in fact, this one, robot is a co-curricular activity, just like the way you have sports, games, and drama. Yes. But in fact, you find those, when you have those events, they come in at in large numbers, maybe they're from the government. But these ones, you find they come in very few. So people have not yet known that they, they actually exist. So in, in fact, for, for it to reach the industry, it is the high time we advertise this thing of robotics so that also the industry can know there is such a thing that really exists here in Kenya. But then, uh, fine, I agree with you, but then it means that it won't take you as the lecturers or maybe you as students to take the idea to them and try to sell the idea to them because the government is giving you a platform by giving uh, these a lot of funds, a lot of finance, giving you the platform to showcase it. But for the sake of sustainability and also for job creation, then I'm, I'm wondering, what would it take for you to engage with the industry that we can actually give you the money and make provide jobs for you or your students who are graduate? Mm, yeah, I think uh, we can take that as a challenge yes. mm. uh, and uh, start going back to the industry, mm. selling our ideas, because the, these uh, these young youth that we are training, mm. they have great ideas, mm. and also um, when the government is organ is organizing these events. Mm. Uh, they should also involve the, the private sector. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because like uh, the event that we have right now, mm -hmm. uh, if it's like uh, we, are, we are showcasing mm -hmm. our, our talents mm -hmm. to ourselves because nobody is coming from outside to, to come and see what we are, uh, mm -hmm. we, we are capable of doing. Mm -hmm. So in future, when, uh, when we, are, we are organizing such events, mm -hmm. we can involve um, the private sector. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the, the general public so that they can also be aware of what is what is happening in, in our Tibet institutions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have in Arimo TV a program recording in Nasiris, Kenya, mm -hmm. and uh, we are trying to look for content like this one. We really want to make it understandable to many people. Uh, how do you think this study of robotics and the things that you have to because you can do it? How do you think they can uh, be put into practice for actual industrialization of Kenya as a nation? Is there is there now a way we can easily connect between what you are doing and the, the need to industrialize Kenya and maybe along the lines of Vision Twenty Thirty? Yeah, I believe we can do. There's some that we can do. Mm -hmm. um, you can come to our. We think we can also uh, plan for a, uh, a live recording. Mm -hmm. we, uh, you come to our session and see what uh, we do. Mm -hmm. uh, some innovations that are. Uh, that we do as part of our trade projects, mm -hmm. that is at the final year, mm -hmm. of which most of them do not get the right funding, we just mm -hmm. end at the prototype level, mm -hmm. because the, the state do not have um, the right funding. Mm -hmm. The only funding that the government is providing to the youth is uh, through the youth fund, mm -hmm. 
of which you must be in a group, but for, for certain innovation or uh, the innovations, uh, there's no provision of the mm -hmm. of such funds. Mm -hmm. Um, they also, the students are, or I may also admit that the students are not aware of some uh, funds like the research fund that mm -hmm. we have. Research fund, yeah. which has just been formed. Yeah, which has mm -hmm. ju just been formed. Mm -hmm. uh, they may not have got the, got any information as we speak mm -hmm. uh, at this point. Mm -hmm. But as we continue communicating, mm -hmm. we, we, may, uh, we may make the youth to be aware or mm -hmm. uh, in the various state institutions mm -hmm. to be aware of these funds mm -hmm. uh, in our universities. Mm -hmm. Because most of their projects end up at the at the presentation level mm -hmm. there, that is uh, at the panels. But you you are the lecturer. This is the one who should be kind of going beyond that and giving this mm -hmm. yeah, I've, I've, I've vision for commercialization of the yeah, idea. Uh, uh, I've told you I've taken this as a challenge yes. that yeah. uh, uh, we need to do something. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to uh, enlighten our youths. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in fact, that's why we are encouraging our students. Mm -hmm. Not to do this just for entertainment, mm -hmm. or just maybe it was just a platform for TVET and robotics, mm -hmm. and then it kills and ends there. Mm -hmm. These students have got the knowledge, so it's the high time they apply this knowledge in even self employment, mm -hmm. because they can open up just like what you have said industries for themselves, automated industries, or even when they go to companies. Mm -hmm. So it's not just in school, it's not about passing the exam. Mm -hmm. It's all about applying the knowledge that you have learned in class so that you can gain a, you can earn some a living for yourself. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. I want to thank you for appearing to, uh, willing to be willing to have appear on the, uh, this uh, interview. Uh, I'd like you to do a concluding remark and uh, just give us um, what you see as the future of the National uh, uh, Science and Technology Commission. And uh, generally, let us, let us know that do we have a hope out of this kind of activity? Is it likely to produce good and desired results for Kenya as a nation? Uh, your concluding remarks and address the camera, please. Uh, as, I con uh, as you conclude, I'd like to inform the general public of the government's step, the, the steps that we, uh, they have taken uh, in uh, funding of TVET. And uh, the future is, not, is no longer within the universities. Um, in the near future, a student with A will be preferring to go to a TVET institution to do a technical course than to go to a university and do the art course because our student get, got the skills uh, for self-employment. By the time they graduate, they have self-employment. So that like took this opportunity to challenge uh, the parents and the general public Familiarize themselves with the uh, with the t what we offer in the TVET institutions, and also the government funding through HELP, mm -hmm. it's funding up to seventy five percent of the student uh, fees uh, through that is higher uh, higher education loans board mm -hmm. through loans and bursaries, mm -hmm. and we are beneficiaries, mm -hmm. and uh, those students so a student may not may, may not should not fear. Mm -hmm. Uh, the lack of uh, fees because the government is that is doing that subsidy. And, and privacy have seen some big bugs investing in the, the same TVET institution. Yes. By kind of supporting them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they very soon you're having uh, the government uh, of South Korea mm -hmm. and uh, UNESCO. Mm -hmm. They are launching a major project mm -hmm. in, uh, in our TVET institutions. Mm -hmm to ensure that uh, the youths are equipped mm -hmm. uh, with the right technology. Mm -hmm. And this technology, or these hands-on skills, mm -hmm. is one that makes countries like South Korea and the other Asian Tigers mm -hmm. to be uh, economically before Kenya. Thank you. We are hopeful you will be more Yeah, thank you. Yeah, personally, we want to thank the government so much for promoting robotics here in Kenya, and also for promoting technical education like what they have been bringing, machineries in the technical schools. In fact, it is the one which has enabled us to produce such products, the robots that we are having. So basically, robotics, I must say, it is the future of this country. We want to have an automated country where production is in large quantities, very fast, efficient, and in quality and good quantities. So it is... Thank you, the government. Thank you for the great effort that you have supported the technical schools.
Thank you very much. Our uh, viewer, we conclude at this point. I think uh, we are excited to see that there is a very high chance of industrializing Kenya with uh, lecturers and producers like this ones who are giving us the year uh, robot, which is putting yeah. 100%. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.